Hey guys, Joe Bonofsky, JNS Entertainment, Madison, Connecticut. What you're looking at here is one of my mic racks uh, that I use for larger ceremonies where I need more channels of wireless. I use it for business and corporate events as well. Um, I've got a few of these, so I've decided uh, I'm going to cannibalize this one. What's in it right now is a, um, a Shure SCM410 automatic microphone mixer, uh, an antenna splitter and power distribution amplifier, and four channels of wireless. Um, what I'm looking to do is get this in a smaller case that's more portable and have it completely battery powered. Um, this unit runs on 12 volts DC. I believe it draws about a one and a quarter amps when it's powering all four mics, so not a big problem. This is AC only. There's no way to power this with DC. Um, and I'm looking to completely get rid of the need for a generator or one of those Energizer or Coleman um, jumper cable power pack things. So I've sourced these two uh, RCL field mixers. They run on 24 volts DC and they're linkable. So this will give me the necessary channels. I could not find a decent battery powered five channel mixer and I need five channels. So I need the four channels for the mics and I need one more channel for an iPad or music player or computer or wh whatever is going to be playing the music. So here I'll have four channels on one these two, like I said, will be linked. I'll have my iPod or iPad or whatever on a channel here, and then I'll have three extra channels of input should I need it. I'm also going to add this uh, Sabine uh, feedback controller, which I showed you in a previous video. These run on 24 volts DC. This runs on 12 volts. This, this whole system runs on 12 volts. And what I'm looking to do is have a nice portable, um, portable rack that I could bring out into a field with no fuss, no muss. So I've sourced this SKB case, um, it's pretty compact, and lo and behold, it fits, uh, it fits an 8 space rack rail perfectly. Uh, I'm going to have to shave maybe a quarter of a rack rail off to get that to fit flush, but I've already actually test fitted in here, and once I shave that little bit off, um, I'll be good to go. So I. This is absolutely perfect. I have the height uh, this way. It's just where this case curves in. So I'm just going to take a little 45 off of the end of that bar, and I'll be good to go. So I'm going to power this with this custom battery pack, which I just built last night. It's got uh, it's basically 36 volts DC. Uh, made with uh, 3,400 amp hour uh, milliamp hour night core batteries, um, and then I'm using two completely different, two of the same but uh, different voltage settings, uh, Drock buck converters uh, that will uh, provide the 24 volts and the 12 volts that I need. Here are my uh, two ends for the two field mixers. Here's my plug for the uh, anti-feedback unit, and this is the plug that's going to go into the Sennheiser. So now we're going to, this is my first, uh, basically my proof of concept. I want to see if I can actually power this thing with batteries and for how long um, before I go ripping this whole system apart and trying to build it again in a much smaller, lighter case. So hang on one sec and I'll hook it all up. All right, I'm back. So I've got it hooked up and... Uh, we can get in focus there. Both of the field mixers have power. The feedback unit has power. The field mixers are running off of this converter. Sorry about that. We got a little smudge on the lens. So they're running off of this converter. Uh, they're drawing less than two tenths of an amp. Um, the mic rack with the um, anti-feedback unit is drawing about an amp and a quarter. And all four mics are powered off the battery with the um, antenna combiner power distribution amplifier. So this is my proof of concept. I proved that this battery pack um, can power this entire field rig. Uh, using less than an amp and a half of power 
Um, this battery pack has more than enough juice in it to last many hours. So I think now uh, I've proven that it can be done. And now it's time to uh, tear down this, this rack uh, with all the guts that are inside of it and build it out in that other case. And I'll do a separate follow-up video like I did for the uh, microsystem to sort of take you along the journey um, when that's completed. I just wanted to, uh, I know there's a lot of talk. Me and Harry and a couple other guys are, uh, are big into trying to get off of generators um, and onto uh, just completely off-the-grid systems. Um, so this, this was my big project. I wanted to get an actual full-size system um, in an actual tiny case that I can take out in the field. Uh, many of you saw from the last video, I wound up buying that uh, JBL Eon 1 Pro. So uh, that's fully battery powered. So now with this system I'm building, um, I'll have a full-on mic rack with a few extra channels of input. And this thing, believe it or not, these things actually have phantom power. So I could actually do musicians uh, using, uh, you know, I could phantom power a couple of active DI boxes. Um, and still have uh, and still have an extra microphone channel. Uh, so four channels of, of mics of wireless, uh, one channel for um, music playback, and then three additional channels for whatever I need to do. Fully powered off of batteries. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, and uh, and you'll be sure to see uh, the follow-up videos as I progress along this build. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed.